Hello everyone, I'm Billy O'Brien and this is what's happening in your career buzz. In honor of Veterans Day, the college hosted its annual Veterans Day program this week. Career buzz reporter Hannah Smith was there as the events which were planned to celebrate U.S. military veterans took place. Today, COD is celebrating its veterans by hosting the Veterans Day ceremony in SRC 2000. There is also an armed forces exhibition and card making for veterans and active duty members. This is one of the many ways that Veteran Services here at College of DuPage helps veteran students. We are a small but mighty department and our primary task is to certify military education benefits for our students. Uh, veteran Services has helped me tremendously, um, not only academically but also in my, in my life. I appreciate like all the resources that they offer, just the kindness. As soon as you walk into the office, you're always greeted super kindly, friendly. Veteran Services here at College of DuPage is amazing. I'll tell you that this is the second college. I went to NIU first and then College of Lake County and I used my GI Bill, but they were far less helpful than the folks here at College of DuPage. They have helped out tremendously with like, with just figuring out the logistics of, you know, being a vet and being disabled. We do resource out quite a lot to the community organizations for financial resources, housing, um, mental health care. We work with the VA a lot. We like to create those bridges so that students aren't running around because there's so many different organizations that want to help. Veteran Services is making a difference for all our student veterans as a thank you for risking their lives to serve our country and just the sacrifice that you make it really grows you and changes you as a person. You're able, when you come out of it and when you're discharged, you're able to see life from a completely different perspective and have so much gratitude toward freedom. Just being able to lead soldiers was really the most phenomenal part of it. I got to watch people really grow up under and my leadership and I really hope that I contributed in a positive way. My very first deployment for post 9-11, um, I was one of the first crews out there in Germany. We went out there to do our thing. We seen a lot of things, uh, did a lot of things. I think that first deployment really changed my life. You would be surprised all of the, the resources that they have for people who are willing to serve and yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> We love and appreciate all our veterans. Happy Veterans Day. For Courier Buzz, I'm Hannah Smith. For more information about veteran services at College of DuPage, you can visit their website at cod.edu slash veterans or email them at veterans at cod.edu. The College of DuPage has completed phase one of its renovation project. Lily Goodfellow has the details. I'm Lily Goodfellow. Here at the club, which is the result of phase one of construction here at COD. Phase one of construction has completed at COD and a variety of new rooms have been opened. I think the construction went really well. Uh, I really like the space, it's pretty open. It was a little hard for us as student workers and faculty members to adapt to, you know, like the new space. The Aroma Center offers many services for new and returning students. ...selves before taking shelter in the buildings. Billy Dixon helped drive off the attack. The Intercultural Club is a safe space for everyone to enjoy and offers a space to learn and appreciate other cultures. It's a space just to spend time with your friends and like you can play games or talk or listen to music, so it's really fun to be there. And counseling services are for help for those who need help in trying times. This is only some of the services that Phase 1 offers but more on the way. With Courier Buzz, I'm Lily Goodfellow. For more information on the college's renovation process, please visit the college's website. After a challenging 2023-24 season, and the resignation of their head coach, the College of DuPage's women's lacrosse team were prepared to welcome new recruits and get back to work in the 2024-25 season. That all abruptly came to an end this past summer when the National Junior College Athletic Association pulled the plug on lacrosse nationwide. 
Career Buzz reporter Bianca Yeager has the story. Last January, 15 young women here at College of DuPage came together to form the inaugural women's lacrosse team. Just seven months later, the players found out that the opportunity to continue with lacrosse at the College of DuPage was no longer an option. I spoke to several players about how they felt about the decision. The ending of lacrosse was kind of sudden um, and without any explanation, which felt kind of, it felt like a cliffhanger. These ladies worked tirelessly with early morning workouts beginning at 5 a.m. These women dedicated themselves to honing their skills on the lacrosse field, as well as building bonds with their teammates. It was very sad to see all of the time and effort we had all put into the program just pretty much be put down the drain because they didn't want to continue the lacrosse program at COD. We had put so much work into this season. We had so many team meetings about ways that we could improve. And then to just be told that this season is over was just done. We were here since 5.30 most days of the week, working and trying to improve on the talent that we did have and trying to create that to a playable team. And now it felt like all of that hard work kind of went nowhere. I reached out to former women's lacrosse coach Gary Cope. He provided the following remarks, stating in part, When we found out about the NJCAA pulling women's lacrosse, it was a big shock. But nearly 90% of the ladies I had and had recruited to COD were willing to be a part of the team, turning into a club program. The challenges are always crazy when you're trying to build a program from the ground up. We had over 22 ladies ready for the 24-25 season until all this happened. No one really sat us down. It was a series of messages um, saying our, our trip was canceled, uh, this is the last day. Pretty much just, okay, season's over, like finish the semester. We reached out to the athletic department and received this official statement. It reads in part, On July 11, 2024, the NJCAA announced it would discontinue sponsoring women's lacrosse with the upcoming 2024-25 academic year. NJCAA President Dr. Christopher Parker cited the decision due to recent cancellations and the lack of involvement in women's lacrosse at the two-year level. Knowing that my freshman year, I could have potentially looked at other schools and been still playing lacrosse today. It's very sad to think about and a little disappointing. On an empty Ulsvik field and for Courier Buzz, I'm Bianca Yeager. Although the women's team has disbanded, the men's lacrosse team will be back on the field this spring. For more information about the NJCAA decision, visit www.njcaa.org. And that's what's happening here in the District 502 community. For the latest in college news and events, be sure to check out this week's edition of the Career Newspaper, available now on newsstands. You can also follow us on our Facebook and YouTube page at Career TV and our website, codcareer.org. For Career Buzz, I'm Billy O'Brien.